What is going on guys, it is WrestleAmia here, back with some more news, join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including, is a big twist coming at WrestleMania 40, an active WWE star takes on a new role, a legendary team leaving TNA, is Goldberg's son wrestling, Rhea Ripley tributes Rikishi in a cheeky way, and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new videos on WrestleAmia Shorts. And now let's see the intro and get straight into our first story. Our first story looks at, could there be a big twist at WrestleMania 40? On top of today's news is an interesting comment from Rikishi who shared his perfect outcome for the Jimmy vs Jay showdown at WrestleMania 40 in two weeks. Speaking on his podcast, the father of Jimmy and Jay stated that the highly anticipated showdown should finish with both men rejoicing and actually rekindling their relationship. I could only pray for our father they go out there, perform and be able to walk out there and walk back. I would love to see them walk back together. I would love to see my boys at WrestleMania 40 walk back together holding hands so that story can close. Whilst it's incredibly wholesome that Rikishi sees this as the perfect finish, this isn't far off from what many fans have been pitching on social media. Seeing the Usos embrace following the match would receive an earth-shattering ovation. The Usos reforming on the grandest stage would also add an extra layer of intrigue and interest to the Roman Reigns vs Cody Rhodes Night 2 main event. Whilst Rikishi seems incredibly excited for the Uso vs Uso match, he does have some concerns. Rikishi's concern mainly comes down to time constraints and he hopes that WWE give the match efficient time on the card. I'm hoping that they don't mess with the boys' time because everybody tries to get in. If you're on before me and you know you got 10 minutes and this is the biggest show on the earth and your ass gotta go out there and go 13 minutes, now you're plugged into my 3 minutes. Rikishi may have reason to be concerned as there's been a trend in past WrestleMania events that matches have been cut for time. Thankfully, due to WrestleMania now being a two-night event, WWE should be able to time the show more efficiently, so every match on the card should be given enough time. Do you think there should be a big twist and the Usos actually reform back together at WrestleMania 40? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, an active WWE star takes on new role. A wrestlers becoming producers or agents is traditionally a role that wrestlers take on upon retirement. However, this isn't the case when it comes to Pete Dunne, who worked this week as a producer for the WWE Speed tapings. This report comes from Fightful Select, who reported, WWE Speed is still putting matches in the can for their eventual debut, and there's an interesting note on the March 22nd tapings. Longtime WWE talent Pete Dunne was listed internally as a producer for both Speed matches. He was also listed solo and without co-producer, and we've not seen his name pop up on many lists lately. The 30-year-old is still active in the ring as a member of the new Catch Republic. We'll look into this and see if he's planning to produce more or if it's an experiment with a new program. This new role for Dunn is a huge nod of approval from Triple H. The game has always been a big fan of Dunn and for Triple H to give a wrestler that is younger than most of the roster, this is a huge sign that Triple H sees him taking on more responsibility moving forward. Next up, who should induct Paul Heyman into the Hall of Fame? A Paul Heyman will take his rightful place in the WWE Hall of Fame in two weeks, and there have been rampant discussions amongst fans surrounding who will induct Heyman. Heyman's associate Roman Reigns discussed Heyman's upcoming induction during an appearance on the Pat McAfee show, and Reigns stated that the individual who inducts Heyman needs to be authentic. Whoever does it, they need to be authentic. They need to tell their story of Paul. There's going to be a lot of facts and history that you can lay down with the wise man all the way from the beginnings with a giant phone to being the advocate to being my special counsel. Whoever does it just needs to be themselves and tell the truth. Numerous names have been thrown around to induct Heyman ranging from Reigns to CM Punk. Ultimately, Reigns is right. Whoever delivers the important induction speech needs to deliver it with authenticity. Who do you think should induct Heyman into the Hall of Fame? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, WWE releasing new Cody Rhodes documentary. A Cody Rhodes documentary titled American Nightmare Becoming Cody Rhodes received widespread praise and it turns out that WWE have been filming part 2. According to Sean Ross Sapp, during a recent Fightful Q&A, WWE even filmed Rhodes backstage when he infamously gave away his WrestleMania 40 spot to The Rock. Next up, a legendary tag team leaving TNA. The Motor City Machine Guns are arguably the most decorated tag team in TNA history, but unfortunately it looks like their run in the company has come to an end. According to PW Insider, Saturday night's taping in Philadelphia marked the final TNA performance of Alex Shelley and Chris Sabin. PW Insider also states that TNA held an emotional backstage send-off for the celebrated duo, whose contracts are up on April 1st. It's unknown what the duo have planned for the future, yet it was reported that Shelley filed to trademark the Motor City Machine Guns name, which heavily implies that the two are looking to continue wrestling in another promotion. 
Next up is Goldberg's son wrestling. And most WWE fans know Goldberg's son Gage for his numerous appearances in the company, most notably at the 2016 Survivor Series in SummerSlam in 2021. In a recent interview, the Hall of Famer discussed whether he wants Gage to enter the squared circle. Speaking on the Nothing Left Unsaid podcast, Goldberg had a firm stance on the matter and he states that he hopes that Gage has no interest in becoming a wrestler. I sure hope not. If there is wrestling in his future, I have to be his agent. Nobody's gonna like that. The fact is, yes, it is nice to have that as a feather in your cap, something you can fall back on. It's not as if his dad was a no-name goofy wrestler who didn't make an impact. My son wants to be the antithesis of me. Next up, a WWE start pushing for WrestleMania main event. Whilst the two respective WrestleMania main events are locked in, this isn't stopping Royal Rumble winner Bayley from vocalising that she still firmly believes that a match versus Io Sky warrants the WrestleMania main event. Bayley is also of the belief that the Rhea Ripley versus Becky Lynch match is strong enough to main event night one, whilst her match versus Sky warrants the prestigious night two spot. Speaking with Alex McCarthy from Mail Online, Bayley stated, This year is mine and Io's year. This year has been the role models year, starting the Royal Rumble, okay? And I've been doing this for a long time, and I've been fighting for this for a long time. Becky's at a main event spot, so it's time for the role model, Ding Dong Hello Bailey, to take this main event spot. You guys can have the first night, and I'll take the second night. You know, we can do that. You never had two women main event both shows at WrestleMania. Why can't it be this year? It's certainly understandable why the tag team match is main event in night one. After all, it's unlikely that a match with The Rock would be in any other position on the card. Nevertheless, it's somewhat of a shame that Bayley vs. Sky isn't being placed in a main event slot as the build-up to the championship showdown has been superb and both women have been delivering some of their finest work. What do you think? Should Bayley main event either night one or night two? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, CM Punk teasing exciting WrestleMania 40 news. Although CM Punk is still injured, he's still expected to have a role of some kind at WrestleMania 40 in two weeks. This weekend, the former WWE Champion took to Instagram to show photos of a range of attires from over the years and Punk promised something special for the fans attending WrestleMania. Additionally, Punk also posted a picture of him and Randy Orton from their 2011 feud and stated that he and Orton filmed something that fans will love. There's been speculation that this could be a WWE playback video where wrestlers sit down and dissect a past matchup. The two legends had numerous matches, including a matchup WrestleMania 27, so this is likely what Punk is referring to. Next up, Rhea Ripley pays tribute to Rikishi and breaks the internet. Rhea Ripley has quickly become the queen of viral wrestling clips, and in her latest antics, are already becoming the talk of the wrestling world. At yesterday's live event in Springfield, Ripley explicitly exposed her cheeks and delivered a stink face to Nia Jax in the style of Rikishi. The spot in question received a huge ovation from the audience and Ripley would go on to retain her title in the match, which also featured Shayna Baszler. And if you look on X, that's literally all everybody is posting. And finally, Kenny Omega shoots on star ratings. Our final story today takes a look at recent comments from AEW star Kenny Omega who had a bold opinion on the always controversial star ratings for matches. Speaking on his Twitch channel, the decorated wrestler revealed that 5 star ratings shouldn't just be handed out like candy. Did it start a movement? Did it continue a movement? Was it something that became something that sort of etched in the annals of history for like all time? I believe that's what an actual 5 star match should accomplish. You shouldn't just hand them out like candy. It shouldn't be because the moves look good. It should be because the moves look like they hurt. It's a perfect blend of everything that you try to do and accomplish as a pro wrestler and that's without exposing the trade secrets. Also during that Twitch stream, Omega had endless amount of praise for Kurt Angle and went as far as calling the WWE Hall of Famer his favourite wrestler of all time. What do you guys think of Omega's comments? And what do you guys think of the news today? Let us know in the comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.